Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the August Witch's Moon box. So with that, let's go ahead and just dive right in. It does come in a nice just brown box from W Moon Shop. So very discreet for anyone who is concerned about that. Let's just go ahead and open it up here. Okay. Pull this out of the shipping box. Okay, there you have it. Beautiful box. Love the design. Let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go ahead and take a look. The boxes always include a nice oracle reading. I do love their oracle readings. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I've mentioned that quite a bit. Their readings are always spot on for me. And let's see, sensuality. Your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I pray. Beautiful. Love the color of that. Okay. This here is the information that I will read in the second half, and I'll put some timestamps down below just in case um, if you want to skip to the part where I read the information. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what the theme is for the month. Hand of Destiny. Excellent. Exciting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that over there for right now. Let's see what we have here, a nice sigil. I ask for wisdom in the wake of my destiny, so mote it be, G. Ibis. Just got a beautiful sigil here. And uh, you can often use these with the candles that they put inside the box. They'll usually go hand in hand. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork. Oh, this is beautiful. Psalmistry, palm reading, very exciting. Okay, so this usually is what the box is about. Uh, the artwork usually relates to it, so I can't wait to see what the item is inside the box this month. I haven't actually really gotten into palm reading before, so that'll be very cool to check out. And we have our herbs, so they usually do include some herbs. Organic wormwood, a good amount there. Some Solomon's seal. I don't know if that's what kind of plant that is or if the plant is called Solomon's seal. There's another name underneath it, uh, which I can't read the scientific name. So look forward to reading the information on that in the paperwork and turmeric root. Ooh, those are nice chunks of turmeric. I love turmeric. All right, good herbs. And then it looks like we have our sacred salts. So I do love their bath salts. Let me see if I can open it. Let me show you guys inside. Always got lots of beautiful chunky herbs in there. Oh, smells divine as always. Their smells can be quite complex, so it's hard to pick out the scents that are in there, but the paperwork will tell us. Beautiful. Looks like we've got some rose petals in there. Not sure what else, but very nice. Okay. Let's set that over here. And we have our candles, so they always include a candle, which is really nice. Let me cut this open. Uh, they use the beeswax-shaped candles and shape them, roll them themselves um, with intention, and oftentimes with herbs and or oils. And if they haven't dressed the candle, they'll usually let us know in the paperwork. Um, so let's just take a look here. Ooh, beautiful black candle. Mm, 
love the smell of it. Beautiful. Okay, so you can always shape the bottom of that if you need to or stick it on a spike or melt the bottom. Um, I just love the versatility of these candles. Um, I'll go ahead and leave that out actually so you guys can see it. All right, what else do we have here? Looks like an oil. And just another tip, like I love saving these little um, bags that they send. They're great for um, storing little knickknacks and stuff. Uh, let's see. Inner Magical Anointing Oil. Beautiful. So I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, probably not hard to see, but um, it's always beautiful herbs in there. Let's see what it smells like. Mm. It's got a spicy smell to it. Like not hot spice, but spices. I don't know what that is, um, but it smells amazing. Okay, let's see what else we have. The usual goodies. Um, oh, some incense. Let's go ahead and take a look at that really quick before we get to the big items. Black opium, excellent scent. Yep, definitely black opium. So I don't know where they get their incense from, but they're very good quality. I really do enjoy their incense. And with that, let's see what we have. This looks like it's in the shape of a hand. It's very cool. Let's see if I can be careful opening this. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Looks like it's got a spot in it. I'm not sure what that little hole is for. Maybe for, we'll see, there's something else in the, uh, in the box. It's got the lines on there. That is just cool. Cool piece of artwork. Very neat. All right, let's see what this other item is that we have in here. It feels pretty heavy. Let me see here. Nothing else in the box, so let me go ahead and move that out of the way. Now let's take a look at what this is. Very curious. A good amount of twine here. Love reusing this stuff. is cool. Very neat. Make sure there's nothing else in there. I don't think so. Nope, that's it. Very cool. I love this. I love the eye and the palm of the hand. It's got the symbols on the tips of the fingers. And then it's got the pentacle there. Very cool. That's neat. So we've got like two different kinds of of artwork there. That is really neat. Love that. All right, well, let me go ahead and kind of lay this stuff out so you guys can see it. And then we shall read the paperwork. All right. Okay, Hand of Destiny. After a long and strenuous day of creating and crafting, the witch looks down at her hands, catching a glimpse of wonder. The countless and immortal impressions that are that stare back hold a depth of wisdom and knowledge that is hard to capture, yet there to grasp. The ancient and mystic symbol of the hand dates back to more than 4,500 years ago. 
playing a large part in intuitive and divinatory practices. In addition to holding protective and creative powers, um, in this one-of-a-kind collection, we finally release items that have been in the making for several years. Many of the items that reside within this box bring you new perspectives and tools to help guide you towards your destiny. The magical items in this box are as follows. The Witch's Moon Exclusive Brass Hand of Destiny Talisman. Oh. That would be this. Very cool. We are so thrilled to finally have the opportunity to include our exclusive Hand of Destiny talisman into this very special collection. We have designed this talisman with the intention of providing psychic protection and personal power to you on your magical journey. When we begin to connect with the ideas and purpose of life through a more spiritual lens, we find that we are more susceptible to psychic attacks and attachments as we step closer to the veil between this world and the one beyond. This talisman was created to enhance the positive influences that create your essence and aura. The hand has been known to be the symbol of strength, protection, and power throughout history. Found within the Celtic symbols, the hand represents our connection to authority and personal power over those things which we can control. It is commonly said that the hands individually harbor the energies of the gods and goddesses. In addition, the hand represents action, creativity, and artistry. You will find within the palm of the hand, the symbol of the eye. References to the symbol of the eye can be found within the early history of Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, pointing to the correspondences to the sun and all-seeing eye of Ra or the eye of Horus. This symbol was said to harness the power of protection, restoration, and healing in all relations to the Hamsa, or the charm made to ward off the evil eye. This symbol represents protection against energies that are bound to harm or attach themselves to you. Found on the inner wrist of this talisman, you will find the pentacle. The pentacle is one of the most recognizable symbols in magic and can be found inscribed into almost all magical tools used for various rituals. Although this symbol holds such prominence in modern witchcraft and magic, it has also been used as protection against evil spirits and demons. As practitioners, the pentacle represents the significance of the elements in our lives and journey, i.e. water, air, earth, fire, and spirit. This symbol refers to the foundation from where the magic in our lives is born. Lastly, on the tips of the four fingers, you will find specific planetary symbols. On the first finger of Jupiter, on the second, the finger of Saturn, on the third, the finger of Apollo, the sun, and the fourth, the finger of Mercury. Although these planets are significant to these fingers through chiromancy or psalmistry, they also have a deeper meaning in the importance and power of this talisman and why it was created. Jupiter represents honor, wealth, health, peace, and power. Saturn represents stability, long life, protection, safety, and bountiful harvest. Apollo, or the sun, represents prosperity, luck, success, respect, and hope. Mercury represents mindfulness, communication, truth, and wisdom. As you place this talisman upon your altar or within your sacred space, allow the symbols and the intentions within their placement to enhance the magic that flows through you. Allow its protective qualities to fortify your energies and bring you peace of mind. May the hand of destiny be your steady companion during study and ritual. 
A Short History and Implementation of Psalmistry, The Forbidden Art of Psalmistry, is connected to the most ancient traditions and carries within it true magic significance. Scholars have predicted that the divinatory art of reading the palms dates back to India almost 4,500 years ago, eventually making its way to China, Egypt, and ancient Greece. Pythagoras and Greek philosopher and mathematician wrote a book about this subject titled The Physiognomy and Psalmistry dating 852 BCE. There are even records that August and Julius Caesar were skilled in the art of psalmistry. Psalmistry allows the reader to pick up energy fields and auras associated with the subject. These practices are closely tied to psychic intuition and can become truly powerful through study. We recommend finding a book that calls to you regarding the meanings and symbols associated with reading the palm. There are many wonderful resources that can help build a foundation in knowing the basic meanings and practices of this divine art. In this collection, we have provided a Book of Shadows artwork that includes the foundational information and outline for psalmistry. And the Psalmistry Hand Incense Holder. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out what the little hole was for since it didn't go all the way through, you know, like to hang it or something. Um, and that is because it, I can see now it is at a slight angle. It is for incense. Love that. All right, very unique item. Very cool. Included within this collection, you will find the Psalmistry Hand Incense Holder. Simply place the wooden end of your incense within the small hole at the base of the palm. Inscribed on this Psalmistry Hand, you will find the Headline, Heart Line, Fate Line, and Life Line, in addition to the Planetary Mounts. Then we have black opium ritual incense sticks. As you allow the smoke from the ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow its unwinding and relaxing energies to surround you. Burn this ritual incense as you work through creative processes, i.e. writing, drawing, and painting. Psalmistry Book of Shadows artwork created exclusively for this very collection. This beautiful and inspired Psalmistry Book of Shadows artwork provides fundamental information regarding the divinatory art of palm reading. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display in your sacred space. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Do not make copies, not for resale. We have had to substitute some of the backings to these pieces due to supply shortages. And then there is the Wisdom Within Destiny Sigil artwork. Let's go ahead and give you guys another show of that. Beautiful. Okay. This specific sigil was created exclusively for this very collection and is charged with the energy and ability to bring you understanding and wisdom through your magical workings. Use the sigil as a reference when creating carved and dressed candles or simply replicating it where you feel it must be represented. Place this artwork within your book of shadows for future reference. The intention that is associated with this sigil is as follows. I ask for wisdom in the wake of my destiny. Sigil created by G. Ibis, illustrated by A.E. Alden. Do not make copies, not for resale. Hand-rolled intuitive spiral 
spell candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of providing you with the energies of intuition during your rituals and practices. As you work through divinatory practices to catch glimpses of the future or to work to understand the wisdom of the past, allow this candle to enhance your ability to see things more clearly. Call upon your guides for assistance so that they may provide a gentle nudge towards beneficial directions. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you and your altar. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may create the most accurate and authentic energy. This hand-rolled spell candle has been anointed with Lang Lang, Jasmine, and frankincense oils, as well as a blend from our personal cabinet of witchery. Always use caution when burning any candle. Keep water close and using a fireproof platform. Do not leave unattended. And then the oil is called Inner Eye. Okay. Magical anointing oil. We have created this inner eye magical anointing oil with the intention of activating and refining your inner vision. Allow this oil to assist you during the making of important decisions or simply when you feel as if you must follow your gut during difficult situations. The energies within this oil can provide you with a clear sense of thought, drowning out the pressures and opinions of others that may not truly have your best interest in mind. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific intention for doing so. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. We have enhanced this magical oil with patchouli, frankincense, myrrh, clove, and anise oils, and have included wormwood, mugwort, and jasmine as well. Inside your oil, you will find a uh, quartz crystal said to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our intuitum magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. The base of this oil is sunflower oil. Some might be more sensitive than others when in contact with the skin. External use only. Okay, and then we have our herbs here. Turmeric root, known to be used by the ancient sages throughout the centuries. Turmeric can be found within the list of the most powerful protective and healing spices. This specific, specific root can commonly be found in the workings of Hawaiian magic and is referred to as Olina, native to Southern Asia and the Pacific Islands. Turmeric has been classified as a medicinal herb for more than 4,000 years. In addition to providing you with protection from negative influences, turmeric can be found to support spells related to healing, vitality, and strength. Magical attributes are purification, protection, and healing, intended for ritual use. And then we have Solomon's Seal. Growing up to two feet tall, Solomon's seal can be commonly found natively in North America, Asia, and Europe. According to lore, King Solomon placed his seal upon this plant once it was recognized how valuable its qualities were. This wonderful herb can be included within incense and is intended for dispelling negative spirits for simple offerings. In addition, Solomon's seal can be a wonderful facilitator for a smooth transition during times of immense change and transformation. Gender is feminine, planetary association is Saturn, the element association is water, intended for ritual use. And we have organic wormwood. According to ancient grimoires, wormwood was burned 
in the graveyards so that the spirits may rise from the soil and begin to speak. A multifunctional herb, wormwood, provides protection against ill will and is used in an assortment of spells for breaking hexes. In addition, this very powerful herb is the great enhancer for psychic intuition. Include this herb within your incense blends for your divinatory practices. Um, gender is masculine, planetary association Mars, elemental association is fire and is intended for ritual use only, external use only. And then we have the Oracle of Neptune, ritual sacred salt associated with the essence of water, the sea, and the Roman god Neptune. This dark and mysterious planet is a potent activator of our inner intuition, commonly called upon and worked with in a non-physical sense. Neptune assists us in connecting with, div with the divine. The energy of Neptune also carries a wonderful ability to bring healing to our spiritual body. As you work with these magical ingredients, take the time to feel as comfortable as possible, relaxing your mind and body. We have enchanted the sacred salt with rose, jasmine, patchouli, and cedarwood oils, as well as rose, echinacea, lavender, and oak bark herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our Neptune magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of this sacred salt. If bath is unavailable, steep bath salts in a bowl of warm water and wash over skin to benefit from the energies within, external use only. All right, and then we have our personal oracle reading, we have meditated and selected a card from the Magical Spell Cards deck by Lucy Cavendish to place inside your box. This card and the symbols that are represented were meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Know that there is a specific reason you have received this card. Allow these affirmations to guide your day and bring purpose to your focus. We recommend keeping this card within your Book of Shadows for a complete moon cycle, revisiting its message and impact during your shadow work. And last but not least, we have the Book of Shadows blank parchment page. We believe that writing down your intention and goals pushes you further in accomplishing them. We have added an additional piece of paper to the back of this ledger for you to write down your intentions before your rituals so that you may add it to your own personal book of shadows. As you perform your rituals, do not set expectations. Cast your intentions and be of pure heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There is so much knowledge available to you. Take pleasure in knowing that you are in control of your future and the blessings that it holds. Open yourself to receive these beautiful gifts. May the ancient symbol of the hand bring you protection and guidance on your magical path. Be blessed, the witch's moon. Hand of Destiny, August 2022, G. Imus. And there's the blank piece of paper. All right, well, that's what we have for this month. Beautiful box, as always. Uh, which is when it always outdoes themselves every time. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts, please feel free to put them down in the comments. Um, I do love speaking with you all there. And I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.